water gives me freedom. The water makes us all equal. Nothing is impossible. This is why I swim. I'm gonna tell you, I can't cook. I hate to cook. Um, at the same time, I just really like it. So it kind of just like stuck with me. Um, it's, it, yeah. <laughs> I really like peanut butter. <laughs> I have like this ritual before I swim. Um, so I, I can't go to a swim meet without peanut butter. Yeah, I started from when I was little literally in summer league swimming. Come to find out when she was born, her umbilical cord was wrapped around her leg and uh, there was a fracture there. And uh, so 19 days old, we found out that our daughter possibly had a genetic disorder called osteogenesis of perfecta. I think, unfortunately, s slowly the, the disease gets worse. And, you know, it's her, her bones, as they got older, didn't get stronger, they got weaker. Making a wrong move or getting up too fast, that could break me. So um, my shoulders the last couple of years. Over the years, I think I've broken about 50 to 60 bones that we know of. Water became like my safe place. You know, I don't face the same challenges that I have on land with my wheelchair and everything. So when I'm in the water, I feel really free. If I have like a broken leg, and I'm gonna work on my arms. If I have a broken shoulder, okay, I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna kick. In six for the USA, 517.94 this morning. Very quick start by Fredrickson. <laughs> I don't like the number six, <laughs> to be honest with you. And I knew in four years I was going to be on that podium. Beautiful swim. She's had a lovely, lovely rhythm. Paralympic champion. It's going to be a handy time too. Mackenzie Cohen, the gold medalist. That is Mackenzie Cohen, a new Paralympic record. A couple years ago, we were on the road to Rio. And now we're on the road to Tokyo. On my mind, especially this year's world records. My Darcy to Tokyo 2020. World's eight medalists join us in the five year Paralympic documentary series, season three.